question for you if you are dating someone that you've been dating for a while say you guys are deep down deep in the relationship maybe about a year or so to the point where you feeling like okay it's time to take it to the next step or just the fact that you really are into someone that you really you know are clicking and you like this person they got a lot of traits that you like and you get along really well the only thing that you find out later in the relationship now you are already at least a year in the thing that you find out is that <clears throat> maybe back in the day she had a train ran on her by people that you knew would that change how you felt about her would you have a conversation with her or how would you handle that situation What do you mean? What am I going to do? You had a train ran on you by people I know. That don't make no damn sense. First of all, you withheld information, right? I'm pretty sure we had a conversation about what kind of stuff you into, and you never threw in the fact that you had a foursome, a fivesome, which is a train, you know? You didn't feel the need to throw that out there. Obviously, you were ashamed of it, and you know I wasn't going to go for it. You know I'm a, a man that stands on values and principles, and I couldn't be seen with the likes of such, you unsavory creature. I couldn't do it, guys. Damn it. No, that's not going to work. Hell no, bro. You had a train ran on you by dudes I probably grew up with, went to school with, I'm cool with. You know what I'm saying? No, it's not going to happen, man. I can't go to sleep at night knowing that them dudes was spit roasting you. You get what I'm saying? On either side, you probably had a handful, mouthful, a-hole full, Virginia full, all that, man. These dudes is tearing you out the frame and I'm supposed to put a ring on that? That changes everything. I might even put you on a strip. I might put you on an ab after this. Real talk, because you got the makings of a 30 foe i should make money off you at this point i need to see a return on all the money i done spent on you at this point it is what it is you got to go you can't be my wife my girlfriend you can't live under the same roof as me hey listen fam if you and your girl always arguing y'all getting into it y'all always breaking up going on breaks think about it like this bro do you think she's not talking to anyone she's not yours you think you're the only guy she's talking to you think she's at home watching tv going to work coming home waiting for you to act right try again my no bro she's reaching out She's reaching out, bro. She's trying to get in contact with all her hoes, all her options. The next guy. Bro, I was just the next guy, bro. Bitches hit my phone so much. Yeah, she's trying to be cool with me, trying to get get to know me, go on little movie dates and, and get with me. But you know what that leads to, bro. I ain't even, I ain't even want to do bro like that, bro. She, she told me about your situation. I just didn't even want to fuck it up for you. I ain't want to mess it up for you, brother. I didn't. I could have been so scandalous, bro. And took her on a little movie date. Uh, persuaded her, made her like me, hit it from the back. But nah, bro, I kept it cool. I'm not messy no more. I just couldn't do it, bro. And she just posted you today, brother, on her story. And I and I hearted it. I'm a supporter of black love. I didn't want to do you like that, fam. I didn't. So you better get right. If you want to keep your girl yours, bro, stop acting up, bro. I'm telling you, bro, it's, it's scandalous out here, bro. It ain't a lot of guys like me, bro. I spared you. I spared you. For real. My boy showed mercy to the yams, man. He spared the cheeks from total obliteration. <laughs> this is diabolical because your girl obviously wants to explore other options and avenues, but she got turned down, which is probably more hurtful than her trying to go out and cheat and successfully doing it. The guy she wanted to cheat with turned her down, bro. That got to make you feel lesser than a fly on shit, bro. Got to do it, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Her mind, body, and soul wanted to pull, but she didn't get it. All because this man right here is a God-fearing man, and he decided that he wasn't going to do you like that, little brother. That's cold. Who is Jalen? Who is Jalen? Oh, that's my homie. Gotcha. You taste them? So? Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Swipe, swipe back up. Swipe back up. My friend say he's trying to holler. That's me. Okay, okay, okay. That's him. Okay, okay, okay. I ain't nothing showing up. Why you texted four days ago? Whoa, four days ago. What's going on? What you doing? What are you doing? What, what happened four days ago? Cause I didn't see you four days ago. Oh my gosh, it's taking quick long to respond to what's going on. What's up? Yeah. 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 What is that? Yeah, it's supposed to mean. Nothing important. What was it about though? You can you can say it. What was it? What was it? I was just trying to see what he was doing. Why? Trying to see what his friend is doing. Why? Huh? I know his friend. 
why would you try to see his what his friend was doing? You should see what he's doing, right? I'm never busy. He was busy that day. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. But look, look, it would it would have been a difference if you said what he was doing, but you said what his friend was doing. Mm -hmm. So what? what why did you do that? Yeah. I was bored. Damn. Are you okay with this? Damn. I'm a. <laughs> Look, at least he had the balls to take his ball and go home because I've seen so many grown ass men just sit there looking like a deer in headlights while she says nothing, while she gaslights him, while she says that's just a friend, that's just a coworker, a classmate, it's nothing you shouldn't be worried when we all know that she's about to get her cheeks clapped, bro. Come on, man. Keep the body language, bro. She obviously has no respect for herself nor him. While she shows no remorse, she's not even sorry that she did it. Wow. This video lives in my head rent free. A <laughs> lot, a lot more to I thought everybody finish. had so you as a side chick. I'm gonna be honest. I thought everybody else had you as a side chick, and he, listen, a in, a, in, a, in, a, in a male community, we know the chase that's like, yo, that's side chick pussy. And then and we, so know, we know the dumbass. Who wipes up the side chick? And we're like, so what makes me a what? side chick? Because the, what? I'm beautiful. And no, no, because what? the one who everybody does a wife. That's the side chick. Sorry. So who have I? Who who have I been side chick? You wrote a book. Who have I been a side? But I was never a side chick. Well, when you write well, a book about having casual sex, and by the way, not before. one of them claimed you. We assume you. You know what? Men don't claim women because we have our real girl that we don't want to tell about you. You know that. You don't want nothing to do with your no, son? I don't want to deal with you. Your son? I don't want to deal with you. If you want to talk to him, that's cool. Mama, but that don't is... talk to me no more. Mama, years ago. I don't want to deal with your daddy. You don't, want to, you don't have to deal with him, but you don't have to deal, you don't want to deal with me, your own son? No. And you look just like him. You act like him. Ugh. Matter, I'm sorry. Matter of fact, you really need to get out of my kitchen because I'm not ready to see Mama. I'm sick of it. Mama, you want to diss on your own son. You want a relationship with your daddy? Of course, it's my father. And I want to do And you want, and you tell me I, I look just like you. Yeah. Mama, you, that, it's because of you. You the one that did I can't it. I even with that man. You the one that did it. Ugh. You the one that did it. Yep. You wash all that off anyway. Mama. What? 25 years ago. Okay. And you don't want me to have a relationship with my father. No, I don't. <laughs> so we can stop talking about this now. You bring this up every other day. I'm I haven't kidding. seen my daddy in two years, and now I want to have a relationship with him. You got such a big problem with me knowing my father. Why do you want to know him so bad? Again, I didn't see him in two years. I want to have that child and, and father born. The fact of the matter is, mama down bad and dirty. She knows she probably been running around town, lying, playing the victim, villainizing this man the whole time. He just wanted to see his son, and you basically didn't allow that to happen. You stood in the way you became a hindrance you was an obstacle and now the what they say the chickens have came home to roost whatever that you know what i'm trying to say that's what you did and that's why you about to cut your son off because you know all of those skeletons out your closet finna come out baby that's what it is when you think you have kids i'm not having kids cap what you mean you're not having kids i'm not having kids cap that's what you was born here to do no i'm not why would you not want to have kids why would well, I? I'm asking you. I don't. I want to have kids. I don't see any benefit for bringing, for giving somebody life. You have a kid, and your life becomes about the kid. I want my life to be about me. Oh, you selfish. That's okay. A lot of men and women at a young age, especially in their twenties and stuff like that, think that they don't want kids, and then twenty years down the line, they say, "Damn, I want kids." All of a sudden, next thing you know, you're fifty-five years old and you bringing kids to daycare, bro. That's crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. I believe one day biology is gonna take over. Some tall, dark, handsome dude gonna be waxing them cheeks, and she gonna be like, "Just nutting it." And she—that's biology talking. You cannot outrun evolutionary biology. We are here to duplicate and make copies of ourselves, bro. You can try to outthink it, but that's just the way it goes. You got to be extremely lucky or take 
several trips to the Hitman as a woman, I've know for a fact that a lot of y'all, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but a lot of women then went to that clinic, bro. Packing the mail is gone. So just remember when that man is encroaching upon that Virginia State line, then everything in your mind, body, and soul is telling you to allow this man to make that deposit, shoot the club up. That's biology talking. <laughs> Say it's a thin line between a man picking a wife and his girlfriend. You fall off that toilet drunk. You are no longer a wife. Damn. Now, somebody somewhere will not understand what I'm talking about. What? Why I can't fall off the toilet trunk? Well, let me tell you why. Why? Why? You can't fall off the toilet drunk because when your husband to be sees that you can get that drunk and out of control, he will no longer see you as his wife because what men would love to do for their wives is to adore them. They want to see you as different. They want to see you as precious. They want to see you as theirs. And if you get drunk just like the next one and fall off the toilet, you're no longer special. And I hope that plane landed. Nope. So that's what I mean. Another one I say often is check a trunk. It could be a red flag. You're trekking a young lady's trunk because listen to me, I'm going to take y'all from the beginning and all the way to the end. A single woman with no children has nothing to do but take care of herself and her surroundings. Listen to what I'm saying. A single woman with no children has nothing to do but to take care of her surroundings. So if she has a car, she's been blessed with a vehicle, it should be taken care of. If she has a home, a place to stay, that home or house apartment should be taken care of. All those things should be taken care of because she's a single woman, no children, and that would that is her job to do, take care of herself. Now, if a young man is looking for a wife, he stumbles up on this particular single woman and her trunk, it's filthy with different stuff. You know, she lived in there whole, whole week. She put McDonald's bags in there because she couldn't stop and throw them out. Oh, that's nasty. She put junk in her trunk, whatever the situation is, and her trunk looks like crazy. She is not a wife. I'm not saying she never will be, but that is a red flag. It's a red flag because she's a single woman. And a single woman has nothing to do but take care of herself. Now, if she can't take care of herself and her trunk and the things around her, how in the world will she take care of a man? I don't know. It won't happen. That's a red flag. So if she tidies up because she know that man's coming over, she's cleaning the house, she's cleaning those toilets, she's putting Fabuloso in, she's making sure the ring is gone, she's making up her bed, ain't bed ain't made up in two weeks. She's making it up now, she's doing all these things because she know that man is coming. Those are red flags, y'all. They like, liars, bro, they liars. That's why you look in the trunk. See, she ain't gonna, she ain't gonna fix the trunk. She going to put all the stuff that she didn't want to address in the trunk. So you look in the trunk. That's the real deal. The real deal is in the trunk. Bingo. Look, in my limited experience here on earth, people who have dirty cars almost always have dirty houses. The bathroom is towed up. The kitchen towed up. They don't even put the dishes in the dishwasher. You see, at the end of the day, we all creatures of habit. And, you know, at the same time, that comes from repetition and repetition, right? One day you say, man, you know what? I'm not going to pick up this jacket that's laying in the middle of the floor. And then you say, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Next thing you know, it's two jackets on the floor. Next thing you know, dishes are piling up. That comes from months, years of habits. You not building great habits so for her to have a trunk or a whole car to just stuff scattered everywhere that's habits bro and trust me you think that doesn't translate at home and this is the woman that's telling you i'll clean up once you put a ring on it don't fall for it brother as far as getting sloppy drunk that's a turn off man first of all a sloppy drunk woman can't be trusted around other men she can't be trusted to not speak on things that she shouldn't speak on in certain situations it's just a bad situation period and that's just not limited to women as well that's that's men too because men get sloppy drunk and they start to speak on things that they shouldn't speak of and next thing you know that's when the house comes crumbling down bro i swear to goodness when my wife is pissed like when she mad mad everything is canceled she cancel everything she don't know shit so don't ask she ain't hungry no more we definitely ain't going nowhere and yet yeah, you you might lose a limb if you try to touch her
you big cold-blooded dummy. Did y'all see that video on here of a lady talking about, you know, if somebody doesn't text you back for, say, five hours, you don't text them back for 24 hours? Oh, damn! No shade to this lady whatsoever, but I just feel like dating in this generation is so exhausting, and I'm sick of the mental games that you have to play. So you whores must think I'm playing. Because I'm not playing. Why does everything have to be a game? Why do you have to walk on eggshells with a person that you like? Why can't you just be yourself? Like for me, I'll never stop being vulnerable. If I catch feelings for somebody and I like them and I feel comfortable expressing myself, opening up, I'm gonna do it. If they choose to play around, like that's really their loss and it is what it is. But y'all, if you're coming into a situation and just being vulnerable and not caring about, you know, all the tricks and stuff you have to play, keep on doing what you're doing, okay? <laughs> it is not you, it is them. And good luck out here, for real. You know what's crazy? A lot of you ladies run around saying how there ain't no good man out here. I'm him! But as quiet as it's kept, a lot of y'all is never ever gonna land a good man. Simply because y'all think that in the world and i'm gonna tell you something a man of value he is not easily easily impressed by and he is not easily controlled by it a man that has his own motion his own car his own money his own career all of that he is not easily impressed by a woman who only has to bring to the table and also y'all quick talking about them lists let me let y'all in on a secret those are usually the good men the ones who are not about to go deep inside their pocket to spend hundreds of dollars on a stranger wouldn't you want a man like that i know for sure i admire men like that some of y'all looking at these men saying oh that's because that you ain't got it and if you ain't got it then just say it's not that he don't got it y'all need to open your eyes and really really evaluate what you're looking at you think a man of value about to go blow three, four, five hundred dollars on a bitch he just made? Hell no. He rich, bitch. He not. Because he know that bitch. What is you? Who are you? Hell no. He not about to go spend his hard-earned money on a girl who he don't know. Bitch, I'm here to get to know you. But the men who are quick to throw hundreds and thousands of dollars. I'm going broke. It's because they're hiding their real true character. And that's all y'all want. And that's why y'all come up short every single time. Y'all are so busy only wanting the money and the trips and everything else. That all they got to do is throw a couple hundred at y'all. And y'all don't get a chance to see who you're really dealing with. Y'all got to start really understanding how this dating shit go. A man that value you damn right he ain't about to go spending no whole lot of money. And how a man move with you is usually how a man move. I admire a man who don't move like that because I know that a bitch can't easily have my when he become mine flat out. You know, she said something that caught my attention. As a man, how is it beneficial for you to be giving random women money? Not only that, if you're a woman and the guy who approached you offered to give you money right off the bat, how many other women has he done that to? Money is nothing to him, so it's just something that he knows you want. He's using that as bait, and guess what? He ain't gonna stop fishing for the most part, and that's how y'all end up with these type of niggas who be dragging y'all through the dirt because he likes variety, and guess what? He knows it's a million other bird brain ass women just like you who gonna go just for a couple of sneakers, you know, a light bill here and there. That kind of thing. So just realize this. You ain't special. He just saw something that he liked and he willing to pay to play. Because he know you're going to do something strange for a piece of change and he going to make you holler for a dollar. Shout out to my boy, Dede. Pull up. You know what's up, baby. This like a bounce house. Ugh, come have fun. Look at this nasty ass bitch. What am I going to have fun? In my buns. <laughs> hey, baby, I don't know what it is like you're not him sir i don't care how much money you got with how you drive how big your hat you not him you not dre dre hold me down what you talking about buddy buddy i lost my key that's what i did buddy the what you don't live there, bro. You need to move around, bro. Okay, I'm gonna come around right now, dog. Huh? I'm gonna come around right now, dog. Right now, you gotta move around, bro. You ain't even live there, bro. I'm gonna give the car to I'm gonna go and let you know. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let you make the choice, bro. Why? Because you don't live there. Get out them people's door, bro. That's my house, buddy. That's not your house. That's my house right there. That's not your house, big homie. Oh, man. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right.
That's not where you live, baby. Ah, right, okay, okay, I figured it out there real quick, buddy. Right, hey, hey, bro. Hey, bro, you don't have to move around, bro. Nah, nah, I'm not moving around nothing, buddy. It's my house. I ain't that's moving nothing, buddy. That's not where you live, bro. That's going to get you hurt, bro. Why? That's going to get you hurt because you don't Why? live there. Why? You don't live there. Boy, I got it. Can you do it? That's the problem, though. So, you might want to move away from my door. Yes, uh, somebody been fucking my door, though. Man, I'm trying to tell you somebody trying to dig in my door as I'm trying to tell you. But you at my house and I have a gun. Okay, 7921, man. 7921. Okay. Okay. I'm 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 outside. I'm not even. You're not playing at your house, bro. You're drunk. This is my house, homeboy. not where you live, baby. You're drunk, Okay, alright. Yeah, move around, bro. I ain't gonna move around. This is our window there, bro. I don't do that. So you gonna have to move around, bro. Wear your shoes. Get your shoes. Get your little shit on the ground, man. Move around. Why don't you, man? I, I, I'm gonna show you. Better listen to me if you don't wanna get back tonight. Don't do that, bro. That's dangerous, man. Right, I'm gonna this is my house. I'm not around, bro. I'm gonna put it on my house. 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 I'm gonna put I ain't see nothing, I ain't hear nothing, my name Bennett, and I ain't in it. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of people would have saw that transpiring and not said nothing. But dude was like, nah, that's my neighbor. I don't know her like that, but I know she don't got no men living in there. So he did a civil, uh, he did something civil right there. Something that I would hope someone would do if they seen somebody fidgeting, going inside my house, trying to get in my house, bro. You know? So that was today's segment of Positive Vibes, talking about black men don't protect black women. He don't even know her like that. And you know he don't know her like that because he said he don't know it like that. But anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. I'm going to get at y'all on the next one.